As the ship moves through the water under increased wind velocity conditions, a high pressure region is generated around the bow and stern of the ship, and a low pressure area around the midship area. As explained in Bernoulli's theorem, the water displaced by the ship at the bow flows around and under the hull towards the stern and creates a serious effect under the hull. This will create a negative pressure in the midship region. While moving in deep seas, these pressure regions are insignificant. But the moment the ship approaches shallow water, this negative pressure region becomes significant. This results in the depression in the waterline at the midship and reduces the underkeel clearance. This is called squat, which induces trim sinkage and heel in shallow water with loss of steerage most times. When the ship is close to the shore along the side, the positive pressure region at the bow pushes the bow away, resulting in attractive force at the stern. This causes the ship to collide at the stern. This is called the bank effect. Similarly, if the ship crosses another ship in close proximity, the positive pressure at the bow causes the ships to deviate away from one another in repulsive force. Once the bow region faces deviating force in the midship sections, they start attracting to one another, resulting in a stern collision. This also affects the ship when one is overtaking the other as shown. The bow gets repulsive force from the stern. As it approaches slightly ahead of the stern, they are attracted to one another, but once the midship sections are aligned, the attractive forces ease up. But the bows are pushed away from one another. Once the ship moves ahead, the stern and bow get attractive. When the ship finally comes in line with the stern of the other ship, they again face repulsive force due to the positive pressure. As the ship passes the other ship in close proximity within close waters, this hydrodynamic interactions cause disastrous consequence. At all of the above stages, a clear assessment of the situation and application of appropriate counter-rudder will save the ship and the environment.